Today, many buildings meet and pass fire codes. Yet when a fire occurs, all of them burn, except one. The one designed and built for fire safety with concrete masonry. Concrete masonry is a non-combustible material. That means under any situation, it will not catch on fire. Combustible materials, such as sheetrock, other wall systems, will catch on fire. It's just a question of how hot do they have to be before they catch on fire. A laboratory test is used to determine durability under fire conditions. This test is the official ASTM E119 test. This test measures how fast heat will transmit through a wall to set something aflame on the other side of a wall. The ASTM E119 test is being administered on a series of wall assemblies. Two gypsum walls and one made of autoclaved aerated concrete, or AAC block, a masonry product. We take the assembly as it would be constructed in the field and we're exposing it, in this case, for two hour duration to a prescribed time temperature curve, which will see temperatures in excess of 1800 degrees Fahrenheit within that two hour time frame. Once we've exposed that assembly to the fire, we will move that away from the furnace. We will then face the exposed side of that assembly towards a fire water hose stream application, the typical fire department hose stream at approximately 30 PSI. Let's see what happens to a fire rated gypsum wall. This is what's left of a two-hour fire-rated sheetrock wall. Now the ASTM E119 test is repeated on high-impact gypsum. Many building materials are classified as fire-resistive, meaning they will burn if they get hot enough. These materials may be fire-rated for one or two hours, but as you will see, that designation can be very misleading. This is real life situation. When a firefighter walks into a building that's burning, two hour fire rated sheetrock walls supposed to protect the occupants, put the hose on it, this is what's left. This will not protect occupants, this will not protect property, this will not give you the time to get out of a burning building. This is not the type of construction you want between you and a fire. Gypsum can be retested for uh, one hour and if it passes the hose stream test in that one hour, they give it a two hour rated assembly. Unfortunately, that doesn't really reflect what happens out in a fire condition. You know, we don't get a second chance in fires. Masonry products don't need a second chance. They can pass E119 the first time around without any problem. See for yourself. This masonry wall of autoclaved aerated concrete has been subjected to the same temperature curve as the gypsum wall. After the full two hours, the physical condition of the masonry wall is excellent and strong. When the fire hose is turned on, the wall maintains its integrity. The hose stream test only cleans the masonry wall. As you can see between the comparison test between a gypsum wall assembly and a wall assembly such as this, the, the performance is dramatic. That is, this wall was able to withstand the fire exposure for two hours and then immediately face that water impact. And when we did that, this wall held up. The other tests that we performed, the gypsum disintegrated very quickly, if not immediately. And so you can see the performance under fire conditions and under the hose stream application dramatically different. This is a far more durable wall assembly. AAC with a high R value, high sound transmission rating, and a low unit weight is an excellent choice for balanced design. As a decision maker, if you're on a school board, a hospital board, if you're an architect, a building owner, somebody in maintenance, what needs to be understood is that masonry products will not allow the spread of fire, masonry products will not burn. Masonry products contain fires where they start limiting property damage.
It has all the benefits we need for building owners. Whether you're an architect or an engineer, a developer or a builder, or a public official, you are entrusted to provide the safest possible environment for the people who own and manage buildings, the people who use them, and the ones who protect them in case of catastrophe. A balanced design approach to fire safety design can make a difference, a huge difference. Masonry is the foundation of a fully balanced system of fire safety. Combined with prevention, fire detection and alarm systems, and mechanical suppression, masonry literally can make the difference between life and death. It's the one choice we can all live with.